one of the greatest experiences I've ever had was learning Chinese and living in China for 18 months. It was, I think it's one of the most exciting times of my entire life. Um, I'd always loved studying abroad. I loved traveling, but China happened very unexpectedly for me. I never thought I would be interested in China or Chinese. And, you know, when I was just going into college, I came in pre-med and I was also a music major because those are the two things that I really loved. Um, and China kind of hit me like a train. In, in 2006, the president of China, the former president, Hu Jintao, he invited 100 Yale students to go to China and meet him personally. Um, and I was one of 12 freshmen that got selected for that trip. It was the summer um, that happened after my freshman year of college. And it completely changed my life. Um, I went for 10 days and I'd seen things and I'd experienced things that I'd never experienced before. And I knew from that experience that I had to continuously study it. I had to continuously explore it. Um, so starting my sophomore year of college, I decided to start studying Chinese. And um, my sophomore spring in that summer, I stayed in China for six consecutive months and studied Chinese uh, at Peking University. And those six months were so cool because one, you know, the Olympics were happening and Beijing was just preparing for the Olympics. So I remember the summer, you could see from my window the opening ceremony and you could see all the fireworks just lighting up the sky from the bird's nest and it's just one of those experiences that you'll never forget you know and i just it, it, and studying the language is very very difficult mind you because you know there are tones in the language and early on i would really mess those up you know I, and i'll never forget one of the experiences where i was sitting uh, on a bus and i and i was sitting next to this girl and i started just having a conversation with her and what I thought I said was, So now, ven, that's a word that means to ask. That means to kiss. So I actually said, Which means, if you have a question, you can kiss me rather than you can ask me. And she looked at me on the bus, stared at me for a second, and then she slapped me in front of everybody on that bus. And my Chinese friends were all laughing at me. And I realized that I made a mistake and they taught me that mistake. And from there on out, I really paid attention to my tones because I didn't want to get slapped ever again. You know, after I came back from China, I decided um, during my junior year that I was going to switch my major to East Asian studies and that I wanted to study Chinese more full time. So I took the year off after my junior year and lived in China to just explore China, explore Chinese more in depth. So I just enjoyed my my year there, and I got to do a lot of, I did a lot of performing actually while I was there. I was on Chinese television performing. Um, I did a lot of stuff at the State Department, and I think it just set up the stage for me to do a lot of the stuff that I'm doing now with music. You know, studying Chinese, you have to understand the fundamentals before you're able to just go out into the street and really start talking to people and have real conversations. You need to kind of build syntax. Um, same thing with language, same thing with music. Um, you know, if you want to be a great jazz player, you have to understand jazz chords before you can go off and start improvising and start understanding what people are, are truly trying to say and understand the language. And that was really important to me because I think with what I'm doing with beatboxing and, and, and cello playing and, and kind of the, the skills that I've gained, I'm trying to use this musical knowledge to speak a language. Once you start mastering the language and you start to talk to people, at the end of the day, you realize that everybody is human and everybody worries about the same things. You know, parents still wonder in Italy and in China and in America whether their child is going to go to college, whether their child is going to be safe, whether they're going to have social lives, whether they're going to have careers. It's something that we as humans fundamentally worry about and think about. Everybody has a different, I think, cultural understanding, but music can still break through all those barriers. So I'm gonna continuously just explore and experience things so I can understand how my music can translate to a wider audience. <laughs>